Hello ladies and gentlemen, Pork Chopper here and today we are looking at a caster hybrid, someone who is a caster's worst enemy, who can control a team fight and deal massive amounts of damage if her abilities are comboed correctly together. Her name is Lieutenant Bellica. Bellica's affinities are order and intellect and is a ranged caster that can drain mana from opponent and use that to her advantage to deal big damage with her ultimate. Unlike most casters, he doesn't have a long range high damage poke tool to assist her, but instead has a unique kick that flows well with each other, which used in the right hand can be a force to be reckoned with. I would like to also note that certain stats about Bellica may change over time with epic changes in the game so often, so be wary there, but the guide will still be perfectly fine and if any major changes happen I will make another guide for her, don't you worry. But now let's get into her abilities. First up is Seismic Assault. The Seismic Assault is an ability Bellica can use to stun enemies right up into the air for a period of time depending on the level. It also does decent amounts of ability damage. It's best used to poke those other mid lane heroes from range as it goes through minions with a 1600 unit range, or to surprise enemies and stun them so you can deal big amounts of damage. Be warned though, the speed of the Seismic Assault has been adjusted to work a lot faster meaning you have to be pretty much on point with it even though if they are on the edge of the range. It's a great initiation tool for Bellica in fights. Next up is Void Drone. This is where Bellica's kit comes together. She deploys a drone onto the battlefield that can last up to 20 seconds if not destroyed. It takes 5 ticks of damage to destroy. Each second an enemy hero is in its huge range they get a percentage of their max mana drained and if you use an ability while in the radius they will get tagged by the drone and it deals ability damage. The most efficient ways to use this are during team fights. It can be destroyed quickly so having to place it correctly either behind your team or just out the way of the enemy's team so they have to waste time to destroy it. The drone hits through fog walls and normal walls or even at different height levels. At level 1 this may seem underwhelming and I have to admit even at level 4 the ability damage isn't big. But the mana drain is 5% per each second, meaning if a hero has a thousand max mana they would lose 50 mana every second inside the bow drawing radius. This is causes the men to help with her ultimate which we'll get into in just a bit. Her last ability is Void Bomb. It deals ability damage for each hero slash enemy in its range when it detonates, restoring some of the lost mana. It has a cast range of 13,000 units, vastly improved from what it was before and only has a 6 second cooldown, and does high amounts of damage. It's similar to other casters high damage slash mana poking abilities, but this is more of a wave clear tool and needs to come up with a stun from the Seismic Assault to keep enemy heroes inside its range. Saying that it detonates in 1 second so if timed right they won't be able to escape from it anyway. It's fantastic at clearing waves while being efficient on your mana. And lastly is her ultimate Neural Disruptor. This is a very unique ultimate. The idea is within around a ranged attack range you can lock onto an enemy hero and fire this ult. The ability to damage on it depends on the amount of mana missing from said hero. It scales for example at level 1 for each point of mana missing it adds a 0.7 ability power onto the ultimate but at level 3 it scales up to 0.9. To make it pack a decent punch Epic have also made it with each point of power this adds an extra 0.15% of damage added. As I suggested earlier, using it after your Void Drone makes the enemies as vulnerable as possible to high damage, even more so why it's important to get those great drone placements off. Now that sort of segues into how to play her. Firstly you want to play her to counter high mana type heroes and be able to split first lanes very efficiently. So against casters of course she is the best and they have the biggest mana pool so your ult does the most damage but even say a Sevrog, Shinbi, Aurora and most supports who build extra mana are also at risk of your dangerous ultimate. Now a few combos that work well with Bellica's kit. First is the simple stun into the Void Bomb. The stun is quick and effective. The second you get someone stunned place, the Void went under them. For the one second duration is quick enough so once it activates it deals the big damage on your target. At end game this can be around 500 plus damage with the whole combo. Then you up the combo adding the Void Drone in. This is to a single target or two. You pick your target, again this should be a more mana heavy hero especially if they are already low on mana. Place the drone in between them and where they want to go, mostly their safe tower. Stun them up and then put the void one underneath them just like before. Most people are scared to use an ability like this Harry not wants an ult because of the void drone damage it does. Almost silences some enemies if you don't know how to play around it. And honestly it doesn't do that much damage, it's worth getting out of there before it's too late. Then to finally finish off if needed then ult the enemy to finish them off. Like I've said before it does very very little damage when they have full mana. Reason why stunning enemies while the drone is out is massively important to make sure you drain as much mana from the enemies as possible. 
For upgrades early game, upgrade to Void Bond the most for Wave Clear and to push that mid lane. Definitely want to unlock all three abilities throughout the first three levels though. The tough choice here is to pick between the Void Drone and the Seismic Assault to upgrade. On one side you have the Void Drone. This is when you leveled up increases mana drainage and damage and is better in those team fights and shutting down your opponent mid laner if they are too aggressive. Secondly you have the Seismic Assault, that you leveled up increases the stun duration up to a whole 1.9 seconds, the same as Decker's stun, which is essential to combo your abilities together and to poke opponents for your team to kill them up. It's honestly a hard choice and I sort of level them up both together. The Seismic Assault more early on then as your ult and draining mana isn't as worth much as most heroes will still have small mana pools early on, but once mid game hits the mana pools are around the 1000 ish mark and the void drone becomes a lot more lethal. Now for cards, first off Elika's main weakness is she has no mobility, and to counter this I add Telebic in which consumes 75 mana and has a 15 second cooldown. As she can gain mana back and you would want to build mana on her anyway, this card fits perfectly well. You also want to add damage and mana and a tad of health like any caster, that's how you build her. Some good cards on her as are followed. Ant Crystal Burst Engine and Crystal Conduit focusing on damage, mana and ability penetration, while cards like Status Gem and Hydro Versa are great unique cards to keep her alive and because her mana usage is being less than other casters, Hydro Versa is a lot more efficient on her. The only other thing to cover here is where you should be with Bellica. Like I said, she is great at pushing lanes and poking enemies and isn't an initiator, but more a second initiator. Once the team fight has begun, dropping the drone and stunning enemies for your team to escape or capitalise on where she is needed most. Always go into those team fights and engage with the Seismic Assault first to help your team out. And that pretty much covers it for Bellica. My overview is well, she is a great hero in the right hand and once you can combo those abilities well and against certain team comps, she is deadly. If they don't have enough mana hungry heroes however, most of her kit is nowhere near as effective as before and other casters would be better options. Especially if she is against another Bellica, they sort of counter each other. But thank you guys very very much for watching and do subscribe if you enjoy my content and I'll see you next time.